Climate resilience also seeing time in the sun on the second day of the budget debate. MPs have stressed its importance. Among the calls are ensuring that climate change and sustainability remain key bread and butter issues in Singapore. We must also take seriously the desire of fellow Singaporeans, especially the youth, for stronger climate actions and a just transition to a sustainable future. We must ensure that the most vulnerable among us are well supported and the able are doing their part by contributing appropriately. There were also suggestions to strengthen the country's energy security amid threats to the global energy supply, such as the Russia-Ukraine war. One MP questioned if nuclear energy could be used here. Naturally, we should consider factors such as cost, technology, safety, particularly we lack the significant open space. We can explore building a nuclear plant on an offshore island or on a man-made rig in the sea. We can also consider building it deep underground or even on a seabed. Our concerns were also raised on whether existing measures like grants could help push SMEs to step up their green efforts sufficiently and in time. This is to prevent SMEs from being left out of future supply chains, especially as large firms now expect their suppliers to be green. M&Es are focusing on ESG to meet demands from regulators, investors, lenders and consumers. They in turn expect their SME suppliers to be ESG compliant. Our SMEs must therefore adopt greener practices in their delivery of services and products. They too must apply the mind-boggling methods to measure, track and report their own carbon footprint.